Mm-hmm. The recent and somewhat tragic demise of a local punch and juice company has created a moment that other manufacturers are trying to cash in on. But don't fall into the trap once more of subjecting yourself to substandard punch. There's no debate really. The best punch you will ever drink is the punch that you make for yourself. And that's because you could have it exactly the way you like it. And I really have to shout out Karen for giving me the idea to do this video because it really didn't dawn on me to do it. So, big up to Karen. And there's no one set way to make punch. I myself no longer possess the type of constitution to manage these amazing milk-based beverages. Back in my youthful days, I would pull up by 10 City and call down a peanut, sea moss and fig blend from Harry's. But these days, I would only venture to drink a punch in the comfort of my own home, if you know what I mean. Today we're making three punches, a peanut and Guinness, fig and a dairy-free sour sub coconut punch. And using spices up there too like cinnamon, nutmeg and tonka bean. First in the lineup we're doing a peanut and Guinness. Cue the junior gong. A Guinness and peanut, me put in a me blender. Starting off with some ice, they don't want to add the milk. Sweetening the punch with some condensed milk, which will also make the punch thicker and smoother. Adding about two third cups of peanut butter, half teaspoon of vanilla essence, and about half of a Guinness. A few dashes of bitters. You want to cover and blend until smooth. Now people would add oats and wheat germ etc to their peanut punch but I actually prefer a smooth peanut punch rather than one with a lot of textures happening. But that is just my personal preference. Feel free to add oats or anything else that you want. To finish this we topping it off with some granola and some wheat germ and freshly grated cinnamon. And there's a well balanced peanut and Guinness punch. You get the smooth creaminess from the peanut butter and the condensed milk and the vanilla, the bitters and the cinnamon add in more complexity to the drink and that further tames the bold flavours of the Guinness so this is real nice next up is the fig punch and starting with ice again then your milk and add in a touch of vanilla essence and a dash of bitters now going in with some freshly grated nutmeg I find nutmeg pairs well with bananas that's add great flavour I add in some granola and some wheat germ to this one because I don't mind textures in a fig punch. I find a fig punch, you know, there's be nice with little textures in it. And for a fig punch, you definitely want to use overripe bananas. They tend to be sweeter, so you could use less additional sweetener in the drink. And I didn't get any overripe ones here, but I bought the ripest ones that I could find. You want to blend until smooth and boom, fig punch done. And finish it off with a light dusting of freshly grated nutmeg and a sprinkling of granola and wheat germ. And it's a fairly straightforward fig punch, but really delicious. And the addition of the nutmeg really takes it to another level. And last but not least, and definitely my favorite, is the sour sap. Because sour sap really is one of my favorite fruits, if not my favorite fruit. And I ain't feeling to share this one, so I'm making it dairy free. More for me now. And first thing is prepping the sour sap. You want to peel it or cut it open and remove the flesh from the skin. And it have no dainty way to deal with a sour sap. You want to add a bit of water with the pulp and using the clean hands, work the flesh into the liquid and make a sap. You're trying to extract as much flavor from the fruit and not waste it. Sour sap not easy to come by these days. And you want to use a strainer and a spatula. Squeeze and press the sap through the strainer to get a smooth pulp. And instead of using dairy, I'm making a coconut cream. Starting off with 2 tablespoons of white sugar because I'm not using any condensed milk for this. I'm going to add a packet of coconut powder and about a quarter cup of hot water. Combine well. And the spice I'm going in with here to incorporate in this one is tonka bean. And this will take the place of the vanilla essence as well. I'm not adding any bitters because I don't want to disguise the taste on this one. As I say, I really love sour sap and I want as much of that flavor coming through. And the cream wasn't thick enough so I added another pack of coconut milk. Mix well, I'm going to add some ice to a blender, add the coconut cream, then add the sour sap and you want to blend that until smooth. And you realize just how much I prefer this one because this is the one that gets poured into the mason jar. Hashtag hipster. I top on it with a little granola and a little wheat germ and boom, that is it. Dairy free sour sap and coconut punch. Mm-hmm. So these are three basic punches that you could make. The world is your oyster at this point. 
have your punch just the way you like it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a share. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do so and ring the bell to be notified when we post more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.